This particular home style with the timber framing is not a barn dominium, but there's some influence from barns. We'll look at the split bottom cords here. And also the top cord itself is gonna be lowered from the ceiling. And that's really reminiscent of way, the way old barns were built, but it's not so much that it's just crazy rustic with all kinds of wood here and there where you cannot influence or personalize that space at, at your whim down the road. And another thing too is the knee braces. We made them like old barns. Instead of a, a big knee brace with maybe a curve or where they're normally oriented to the broad side facing you, this is opposite. It's a narrow side. When you look at the side view, the narrow side is what you're seeing, just like old farmers did. And uh, it's kind of fun when it all pulls together and fits the overall theme and you know, rows in the right direction for where the owners want to go. That's really cool. We're working here in the back patio, trying to figure out some numbers, making sure everything is dialed in to start cutting and we're ready to move forward. First, we're going to put the posts and then we're going to go back there, set some rafters, then move, set some posts, side beams, and then, then we move it this way. No, we're starting in that corner where the guys are. We're going to work our way to the middle and we're going to do this. That'll be it for the day. It will take all day to get to there. So those rafters in that master bedroom are going up next. For Raul is. Then we're gonna do this hip section. And we're gonna do this great room section. So it's another beautiful day in the neighborhood. Here we have a perfect site. Nice, flat, no big potholes, not a lot of mud. We have great weather. It'll be a little bit warm, but you're not gonna catch me carving about that small potatoes, right? And uh, check out the view we got. Mount Adams, really clear, you see Mount St. Helens, and if you peek over here, there's one of the trees, and Mount Hood as well. So we're in Oregon looking north, that way over the valley. Great to be here, having a lot of fun. This particular job, going down memory lane, it was pretty cool. They wanted some sort of a farmhouse look, and we were able to figure out how many timbers and where they go. And one of the things that really delighted both Marcy and John were the split bottom cord and the feel of how the timbers are going to feel like an old barn. And if we look right over here at this covered patio off the master bedroom, you can see how the bottom cord is lowered and the top cord is lowered. The raster is gonna span over it and that's really reminiscent of a lot of the old things they would do in barns, for extra support and that sort of thing. And uh, so colors were a big deal. We sent them to our stain supplier. We got that kind of dialed in. We helped them also with home colors and textures. Uh, there was some pretty severe adjustments to the front. And what was really cool about this is when the designer seen it, instead of feeling like we were stealing his thunder, he called his cohorts over this, hey, cool, check this out. They made this awesome. Now it's even better than we did. And you know, that's the spirit of what we're doing. And I don't know, it feels good to be out here working with the guys, good honest sweat and uh, part of making a living and doing our thing.